So today I thought it would be fun to go shopping with you guys. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. So I woke up this morning with a, with a slight urge to shop. And instead of going along my shopping journey by myself, I wanted to bring you guys along with me. And we are going to be browsing Sephora together. So I thought that this would be kind of a, a fun video idea because you're going to get a couple things out of this. First of all, you're going to be getting a haul. Obviously, you're going to see the products that I'm going to be picking up and why I'm going to be purchasing those products and you're also going to see kind of like an anti haul because as I go through the website um, I'll let you guys know some products that are also catch my eye but that I'm not going to purchase and why that may be and then finally once I actually make my order and receive my products I'm gonna be doing another video trying everything on and giving you guys my first impressions and all the new things that I get yeah it's gonna be fun so let's get started so I don't really have a game plan here I don't even really have any particular products that I'm specifically looking for I'm just looking for some new and fun products to kind of get me inspired for some future video ideas keep in mind I do purchase new makeup and new products for my channel it's not just for personal use so I always do look for things that kind of get my juices flowing they get me a little bit excited um, and the first product that actually just caught my eye here is this new Marc Jacobs brow wow duo brow powder pencil and tinted gel plus one pencil refill. That is a long name. So I've actually been seeing quite a few other beauty beauty people talk about this on Instagram. I think I saw Desi Perkins try this. To be very honest, brow pencils are never really an exciting thing to purchase. It's kind of one of those things where you know that you need, but it's one of the most boring and painful things to spend your money on. <laughs> However, I am in a little bit of like a brow product rut. I've pretty much only been using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And maybe I've been kind of dabbling in other things here and there, but that's pretty much the main brow product that I've been using. So I am into trying something a little bit different. I do really like that this does have a brow gel on one end and a small little pencil on the other. And there's also a refill, which is so genius. I don't think I've ever seen another brow product with a refill. That's really, really smart. I love that. So I think I'm going to purchase a uh, dark brown. Yeah, <laughs> I just tried to look at my brow color in my viewfinder. I'm normally dark brown. Oh my God, wait, it's $51? <laughs> Excuse me? That's really expensive, man, for a brow product? Wow. But at the same time, this is me trying to justify it to myself. You're getting two brow pencils essentially because you get the, the brow pencil in the actual product and then the refill, so that's two. And then you also get a brow gel, so it's kind of like three products in one. Honestly, I'm just doing this for you guys because I feel like I've already committed myself too much. Okay, this is going to be expensive. I could feel it already. <laughs> We're like three seconds in and I'm already down $50. All right, what else do we have here? So this over here is the new Natasha Denona bronze eyeshadow palette. I actually already have this in my collection, but I just kind of want to reiterate my thoughts on this product because I do feel like it's just not worth it. I'm surprised this has such high reviews. Actually, am I surprised? Not really. I guess... People really do love the Natasha Denona eyeshadows. All of the bronze shades that are in here really look very, very similar to one another once they're actually swatched on, on the eye. There's not much difference between them. I just feel like there's other Natasha Denona palettes that have more variety to them and are more worth their $87 price tag. Okay, I had no idea that Urban Decay came out with a new eyeshadow palette. Did you guys have any idea? This is called the Naked Ultraviolet eyeshadow palette. So looking at this palette, I, I know already this is not going to be a palette that I'm going to purchase even though I would really love to add another purple palette to my collection because purples are one of my favorite colors to wear on my eyes. First of all, just looking through the shades over here, I noticed that there are no dark mattes in this palette, which is kind of unfortunate because I feel like that really limits the versatility of this palette. Like you would definitely have to reach for something else in order to complete a whole look because all of the dark shades that are here all look to be metallics or shimmers. And yes, you can create a whole look with just shimmers, but I do prefer to have mattes in a palette. Mattes are typically pretty important for an eye look. You don't just need like a transition shade, but you need a nice like deepener and a crease shade. And I just don't feel like this is a super cohesive palette. Like the first half of the palette here looks like one vibe and then the second half of this palette looks like a whole other vibe and then there's this really random like teal turquoise color just right in the middle that I feel like just doesn't go at all. I don't like it and I'm not gonna buy it. Oh my god yes. 
This is a new product from Laneige, Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser. Say no more, add to basket. I love a good creamy, oily, milky cleanser, especially when I am taking off my makeup. And especially as somebody with dry skin, those milky, oily cleansers just make my skin so happy because it doesn't strip it, it actually makes my skin feel moisturized by the end of my cleansing process. And it says that it's a cleanser that gently melts away makeup and impurities, leaving skin feeling soft and refreshed without being stripped of moisture. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> I'm very excited to try this. I actually needed a new cleanser in my life, so this is perfect, and I love Laneige. I love so many of their products, so that is coming home with me. <laughs> oh my god. This Dyson Corel, every single time I go in Sephora, I just end up on this page, and I stare at the strainer, and I, and I ask myself, do I need this? And then I look at the price tag, and I'm like, I absolutely do not need a $700 straightener. Dyson does definitely have some of my favorite hair tools. I love their blow dryer. I love also their air wrap. I use it pretty much every single time I style my hair. Um, it just works really, really well, and I find that it does actually do less damage to my hair than my other blow dryer that I've used and this straightener is pretty cool because it's actually cordless the idea of doing my hair while I'm just sitting out on my balcony is kind of appealing to me and it's also supposed to be less damaging than a typical straightener but it's $700 and I just can't get over the price and I can't justify it so I'm not putting that in my basket even though I would really love to I just can't I can't do it okay what else do we have here I'm sorry but this looks like this is supposed to be a face massager, and that is all I would think of while I'm massaging my face with this thing. And it's $432. I can't, I can't. Mm, a new Briogeo hair mask! I kind of feel like I'm a Briogeo fangirl. I love and use so many of their products. I have repurchased the Don't Just Bear Repair hair mask probably close to like 15 times. This one looks very interesting because it seems to be suited for curly hair. I have curly hair. It says that it is a protein-free nourishing hair mask formulated with highly emollient ingredients to boost moisture for softer, more manageable hair. Normally curly hair is synonymous with being very dry, um, so I pretty much use a hair mask every single time I wash my hair and my hair can still use even more moisture after that. My hair's thirsty, okay? It says over here, that the original is proven to strengthen or repair, and then this one is supposed to be for hydration and moisture. Oh my god, look at that girl's curls. If that can make my hair look like that, add to basket. Ooh, very, very good reviews. We got five stars. We have a three star over here. Nothing special, but not bad. Pros does have a moderate softening effect. Smells like kiwi. Ooh, yum. A good amount of product for the price. Cons weighs my hair down a lot. Too many oils. Okay. So we'll see, this may be a little bit too much for my hair, but I'm willing to give it a shot. There's also a new Marc Jacobs mascara here. This is the At Lash Lengthening and Curling Mascara. I think I heard Katie Jane Hughes talk about this and she said she really, really loved it. So should I get it? But do I need another mascara? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. So it says that it's a long wear lengthening and curling mascara, so pretty much seems like an all-in-one. Um, for a highly defined full extension lash look. I mean, the description sounds great, but it does it really perform? Okay, we have some mixed reviews on the first page here. Pa Michelle says, did not work for me. Very surprised to see the reviews are so high on this mascara. Did not work for me at all. And truthfully, almost any mascara works for me because naturally, naturally my lashes are long. Okay, stop showing off. Britt says, I was not expecting to love this mascara as much as I do. It has become one of my favorites. It has lengthened my lashes and did not look clumpy. I think, I think I'm just gonna have to try it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just add all the things that I'm interested in and then maybe we'll refine the card a little bit at the end because this may get a little bit overboard. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. Josie Moran Whipped Argon Oil SPF 45 Body Butter. <sighs> I don't know what it is about beauty products with the word butter in them, but as soon as I see butter or whipped, I need it. I do really like the Jose Moran SPF for the face. I'm down to perhaps try that. I'm gonna put it in my cart and we'll we'll revisit later. Cart Mini Sea Water Foundation. Is that like a repackaging, reformulation of their old water foundation that they used to have? I actually find a lot of the times serum-like foundations can be really drying and I have tried a serum foundation before from Tarte. I just didn't really love it, so I'm just gonna pass on that. Do you guys feel like that you just don't hear about Tarte anymore? I feel like I never, ever, ever really hear about their products. They kind of just fell off the face of the earth. I don't really know what happened. I'm sorry, what? 
liquid lip balm. This is the Rowan Beauty Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm. I have tried only the eyeshadow palettes from Rowan. These guys, they are so, so, so good and so gorgeous. The formula of the Rowan Metallics were kind of this really cool hybrid between a cream and a powder. And I find when you put them on the lid, it makes your lid look wet. They're really, really beautiful. I had no idea that they were coming out with a new lip product, so this is very exciting. And this name, though, sounds very, very interesting to me. The high shine of a gloss and the nourishment of a lip balm. So it probably is pretty much just like a sheer lip color. But in all reality, I do not need another sheer lip color in my collection. I, I would love to try this out because it's from a brand that I really enjoy, but I just don't need it, and I'm trying to be reasonable here. There comes a certain point where the sheer lip products start all looking the same because you could only get something you know, so different, especially when it comes to a sheer lip product. So although this is really up my alley, I just don't think I need it. So I'm gonna just pass. Pretend we never saw it. There's a new Patrick Ta cream and powder blush. Say no more. So this looks like a blush duo that has both a cream and a powder. I really love having a compact that has both a cream and a powder in one. I do find that it does allow you a little bit of versatility. You guys know that I love my versatile products because obviously you can use them separately and they're gonna give you kind of different looks. Cream blush is typically gonna be a little bit softer, a little bit more dewy looking, a little bit fresher looking, whereas a powder blush is a typical powder blush. We all know what that looks like. Um, and it also allows you to create a really long wearing blush look because when you do layer a powder on top of a cream, it locks it in and it just sets it in place. And so to have a compact that has two colors that complement each other perfectly so that you can do that and also use them separately, I love that idea. So I'm definitely into perhaps purchasing one of these. We have four shades here. She's That Girl, which is a, says it's a soft pink. It kind of looks more like a corally shade to me. Then we have She's So LA, which is more of a bronzer it looks like actually. Oh She's Different, which is a plum shade. It's definitely a lot deeper. And Do We Know Her Peachy Coral. Ooh, that peachy coral though. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get that peachy coral. I think I'm definitely more so into the coral shade. I feel like swatch on these models. It looks really, really gorgeous. And I love these rusty corals on the cheeks. I just think it's really flattering. So I'm gonna add that to my basket. And I'm kind of intrigued by this nude bronzer shade. I don't know if it's supposed to be a bronzer or if it's literally just supposed to be like a bronzy blush. I'm really intrigued by the nude. I'm gonna get that too. So adding that to the cart as well. Okay, that's exciting. I love how brands are coming out more and more with cream products. I found over the last like year or so, cream products are finally getting their time to shine. It's really about time because people are finally realizing how gorgeous cream products are. Ooh, we have this cute little guy from Kaja, another cream product. This is the Cutie Bento Creamy Lip and Cheek Duo. So it says that it is an ultra blendable, multifunctional, creamy lip and cheek duo for a natural wash of color. So this just seems like to be a duo of two cream products. I'm not really overly crazy about these shades here. Like I don't really love these pink shades. And then as far as these peachy shades go, they're definitely really pretty, but I feel like the, the Patrick Ta ones, you get a lot more product. That's insane. For these creams, you get 0.9 grams of product, but for the Patrick Ta, you get 10.5 grams of product. That is a huge difference. That is really expensive for the amount of product that you get. And with creams especially, you go through that so quickly, especially if it's a very emollient and creamy formula, you tend to just kind of go through it because it just melts as soon as you touch it. And I find things just run through very, very, very quickly. So I don't know, man. I don't think that's gonna be worth it. So this is the Marc Jacobs Glow Away Dewy Coconut Face Luminizer, and it looks like a cream highlighter, but it's weird because the packaging looks exactly like their lip glosses. So it's the same doe foot applicator. This person says, just wrong formula for its purpose. Love Marc Jacobs stick highlighter, but this is nothing like it. I have very fair skin and the moonlit one doesn't show up on my skin, no shimmer, barely any color, pale pink, slight glow, not really a highlighter at all. This person says weird applicator and good product. I agree that that smaller applicator is not really super ideal, although it does kind of allow you to be a little bit more precise with the application. I almost just feel like they had to get rid of those, those components, like the lip gloss components, and they were like, eh, let's just put that product. But they say the product is beautiful, exactly the kind of highlight I've been looking for, super shiny and not sticky or glittery. I think I am gonna pass on this, similar to sheer, lip colors. Once you have a couple formulas of a liquid highlighter, they all kind of start to look the same and it's just not necessary to get more. So I'm going to pass on that.
Do you guys ever buy fragrance online? I feel like it is so risky to buy a fragrance online unless you have already smelt it before in the past because you're just going off the description. You have no idea how it smells. And sometimes the description is, is not even right. Getting a scent online is just way too risky. I don't feel, I feel sassy today but I don't feel risky. I actually just ran out of my moisturizer, so I do need to get something new. I didn't want to repurchase the one that I was using. I was using the SkinCeuticals, I don't even know what it's called, but it's the, I think it's just called like the Daily Moisture Moisturizer. I liked it, it wasn't my favorite moisturizer I've ever tried, um, and I actually just recently got one from Youth to the People. I got the Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream, and I do really like it, like I said, but I just feel like it is a little bit too heavy. With skincare, it's like one of those things where you have to go in fully prepared. You have to have already done like six hours of research because this is just so overwhelming. I don't think I can do it today, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting out of here. I actually do also need to get an eye cream though. Totally forgot about that too. I feel like I react so easily to eye creams. Um, if it doesn't agree with me, I get little bumps underneath my eyes almost immediately. So I am always a little bit scared to try something new. Although I've never really found an eye cream that I absolutely love and adore. And I would love to find that. Let's see what the best sellers are. So the number one best seller, according to Sephora, is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, and I like that one. It's not my ultimate favorite though, and I don't think I would repurchase it. I would love to know in the comments if you guys have a holy grail eye cream, because I really need a recommendation. Biosense is a brand that always intrigues me. All of their skincare products always just kind of draw me in. This is a squalane and marine algae eye cream. So for me, I want something that is going to be hydrating because I do have dry under eyes, but it can't be super rich because when it, when an eye cream is too rich for me, then that's when I start to get those little bumps underneath my eyes. And I would also love to find something that kind of just plumps my under eyes, that fills in the fine lines that I seem to be developing lately. We've got hydrating AF, hydrating and decreases under eye darkness. It works. No such thing as a miracle eye cream, but this is as close as it gets. Ooh. <laughs> One of the only products I've used that has made a visible difference in my under eyes in terms of hydration and lightness. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Very creamy, thick, moisturizing, but did not help with my dark circles. An all right product with packaging problems. I feel like based off of the comments, and it actually says the formulation is rich cream, it's probably too rich for me. My esthetician actually recommended this to me but it's so expensive. <laughs> Anything with vitamin C is always so expensive. So this is a lightweight, antioxidant, rich vitamin C eye serum that brightens, hydrates, and firms the Delica under eye area. We've got a lot of variety of stars here. We have five stars, two stars, two stars, three stars. This is my first review after a decade of shopping Sephora. That's how badly this product disappointed me. I don't know if I got a bad batch or if it's, or if it's a design flaw with the applicator, but every time I go in to use it, no matter how carefully I squeeze the tube, air pockets and the two force out way more of the product okay so it's more of a packaging issue than an actual product issue here I like the serum as a treatment for dark circles and puffiness this isn't an eye cream and therefore it's not very moisturizing oh yeah that's true this is considered a serum and not really an eye cream so I think you would actually have to use this in conjunction with a, with a moisturizing eye cream in order to get that hydration okay maybe I'll pass on that too oh god I don't know what to do <laughs> I'm so confused. You know what? I think because my esthetician recommended that dermatological one for me and I really just trust her with every part of my being, I think I'm just going to get this guy and hope for the best. Oh my god, I totally forgot about it. This is what I wanted to get. I really wanted to try the Kosas um, bronzer because I've heard pretty good. Oh no. They don't have it in stock. <laughs> I just got so excited for nothing. A couple days ago, I was so far deep into watching the Vogue tutorials and I noticed that a lot of the celebrities use this particular skincare brand called Lancer. And I forget which celebrity it was, but one of them did use this exfoliator. It's called the Method Polish. I think it was Lucy Hale. The reviews here are pretty good. Hands down the best. I've searched far and wide for an exfoliator that would do exactly what I needed from it. Actually exfoliate without drying out my skin. This is it. Ooh, the closest thing I could compare this to is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate, but honestly the polish blows that one out of the water. <gasps> Ooh. Holy grail, it hurts my heart that it's so expensive, but I don't care. I'm still gonna buy this forever. It seems a bit pricey until you realize how little you use each time. It's an amazing product. It leaves my skin polished and glowing. I can't believe I spend this much on a product, but dang, this stuff has transformed my skin. I've never been so happy with my skin. 
Whoa. Okay, I have to get it. I have to get it. I have to get it. Oh my god. Ouch. 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 That one hurt. It's $96. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm good with everything that I have here. I'm actually very excited about everything that I add to my cart. I think the only thing that I'm kind of like A on is the Marc Jacobs mascara. I just don't know if I... You know what? I think I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't think I need it. So, bye to that. All right, time to check out. <laughs> I am exceptionally excited about all the things that I picked up. I cannot wait to try everything, especially those new skincare products and the hair mask. Oof. So stay tuned because I will be doing a part two of this video when I actually have the products here with me. Um, I'll, I'll try them on camera with you guys. Let me know if you guys like to see more of an update on the product so I can actually try them for about a week maybe two weeks and then give you guys an update and let you know how they actually are, especially since most of them are skincare products and hair care products. It obviously takes more than one time to see if I actually like them. So if you guys would like to see more of an actual in-depth review on all the products that I just purchased, let me know in the comments. Or if you just kind of want to see my first impressions, I can do that too. Just let me know your thoughts down below. And if you guys would like to see me do this style of video more often, let me know. I could definitely do it maybe like once a month. I can go shopping with you guys, pick up some new products, give you the review. And uh, yeah, it could be like a new series here on my channel. Of course, hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and you want to join the fam. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.